welcome back to my channel. So, it is, what time is it? 10.40am and I woke up about two hours ago but I haven't actually got up yet. So I thought, why not get ready with you guys? Sorry about the awful camera. Um, I'm used to having it in my tripod but yeah basically gonna do a get ready with me um i need to speak to maddie about some video ideas and um yeah basically i'm just gonna get ready with me because why not so i have brushed through my hair i'm gonna put my hair up like i did it the other day so it's like a high bun like here on my head with two bits down at the front and it's half up half down you'll see it in a second but yeah i'll see you when i've done that <laughs> so I've changed it a bit. I'm doing a half up, half down ponytail and just a little bit down on my right, but it will look like your left. Um, my hair did take me a lot longer than I was expecting, meaning the last clip I filmed about 20 minutes ago. Whoops. I'm getting my tripod because I'm really bad at holding the camera still. I feel like I'm just moving you around the whole time, so I'll just clip you in there. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is my makeup anyways, so I'm also talking to somebody, um, like texting somebody while I'm doing this, so I'm going to be using different, um, so don't get annoyed if I keep looking down at my phone because, yeah, I'm going, I'm talking to somebody who's going through a bit at the moment and I want to be able to be there for them and stuff, so, yeah. Basically, I'm gonna go and get all of my makeup bits ready. Um, I might hairspray my hair because it is still like really, really messy. Um, especially like the part, like, look, it looks awful. Whatever, <laughs> it's fine. So I'll be right back. So seeing as this is a get ready with me, I'm going to start off. I have already washed my face this morning and moisturised, but it was about two hours ago when I woke up. So I'm gonna use my. Nivea cleansing, refreshing, re biodegradable cleaning wipes, which are in like the loudest packaging ever. Just gonna wipe my face again because I've been lying down just staring at my phone and to be honest, your face does get quite greasy while you're doing nothing. So yeah. You can probably also hear my headphones. I might take them out. I haven't listened to the video quality. I hope it's better. But yeah, I'm gonna take them out. Let's do it. Okay. Okay. Um, these wipes do weirdly make my face quite red, and I don't know if that's just the pressure that I'm putting, or if there's something in the wipes that don't agree with my skin. I've got really sensitive skin, so I wouldn't be too surprised, to be honest. And then I'm going to use the Jewel Action Moisturiser. This is Johnson & Johnson. I got it from Asda. You can pick it up pretty much anywhere. I'm just going to use a little bit because this is quite oily and my skin is already quite oily. Um, I don't think it needs that much more oil. I'm gonna leave this to like soak into my skin I guess you could say for five ten minutes and then I'm gonna get started with the makeup just because my primer is a matting primer and I don't want it to react weirdly with this because I've never put on moisturizer and then straight away started with my primer and I'm still I mean I say I'm quite new this is literally like super empty there's hardly anything in here look how much it's squished in there's like the tiniest little bit but it is about two years old probably shouldn't still be using it should i 12 months no i probably shouldn't still be using it but it's fine um but yeah i just don't know how they're gonna react so i'm gonna leave this to soak in and then i'll start doing my makeup so it's been about five minutes it does still look quite oily on my skin but we're just gonna go with it 
Um, I'm going to use the Waitrose Christmas Prosecco Lip Balm. Um, and I'm just going to put that all over my lips. This is kind of shimmery. But like, it's pretty. And it's moisturising. I like had to pick at it before. I thought I'd like, stick my nail in. In order to get like a decent amount. My mirror is back there by the way. Um, I can't get a lid on. Good neck. So, first of all, I'm going to be using the CYA Primer. Um, this is just the Matte and Blur Primer Matte Attack, is what it's called. Um, I'm just gonna put this all over my face. Like I said, there is literally none in here. I need to get some new primer. But all the shops are still shut, so there's nothing that I can do about it. This is what it looks like. It's really grim. Um, now this isn't like a pore filler or anything like that. I do need to get one that fills my pores a bit more. Just because I get really bad like open pores around my nose. And I feel like I need to conceal them a bit more. Oh, actually, if you put quite a lot there, it does seem to fill them a bit better. I love this primer. This is like the first and only primer I've ever used. <laughs> but I just think it's really, really good. It feels really silky on your skin. It does exactly what it says it's going to and mats your skin. Um, well, it doesn't personally anyway, it doesn't look like it on camera. But like, I just think it's a really good quality. I was in like, oh, it must be five pound maximum because I'm really cheap and I probably wouldn't spend much more than that. Um, but I bought it at the same time as I bought my foundation, which I'm gonna do off camera. So I'm gonna do my foundation, my powder and concealer and my bronzer off camera because Boring. I just wanted to talk about my primer because I don't think I've really spoken about that before. Then I'll come back, I'll do an eye look, I'll do a lipstick and I'll do highlighter. And then yeah, I'll get on with my day. I'll see you when I've finished this. So that is the base layer done. I've also done my eyebrows and that's taken me about 40 minutes. Um, and I still can't get the bronzer to look good. So I'm going to keep on blending it while I talk. Um... I haven't yet gelled my eyebrows, I'm going to do that after I have done my eyeshadow, so I'm going to start off with my eyeshadow. I'm going to use this palette today, um, I already know what look I'm going to do, so I'm just going to go for it, for a change, I actually know what I'm doing. <laughs> um, this person's going to have to wait. So, I am going to dip in to this pink right here at the top. Do not have a mirror out. Let's grab my new little mirror here. I'm just going to put that all over the eyelid. Now because it's a shimmer I'm going to have to keep on... I've got powder on my nose. On my eyebrows. I'm going to have to keep on dipping into the pan because it'll take ages and ages to build it up to how I want it to be. Um, if you can hear Riley downstairs, he's basically doing schoolwork with mum because he is still in school. I have finished college now. Uh, it's taken a while and there's been a lot of drama but it is now completely finished done finito over it <laughs> i will not be doing anything else to do with college now i'm actually really happy about it though because wasn't overly keen on college it's not my i don't get on very well with education and with my teachers and stuff i had like one like my most favorite teacher ever last year 
who's who was Gormus Blackstone. She was an absolute goddess. Um, she was my English teacher. She was just an absolute superstar, and I don't think anybody could actually top her anymore because she was just so damn amazing. Um, that's all I have to say. Like, she's just the best teacher you could ever, ever, ever ask for. Um, but yeah, I've not been too keen on any of my teachers this year. Like, my math teacher is all right, but she's not my favourite. Um, so now that I have used that pink shade, that's going to be really long enough. Now that I've used that pink shade all over my eyelids, I'm going to dip into the plain black shadow. I'm going to use it as an eyeliner. I'm probably going to do this bit off camera actually because I'm really bad at eyeliner. Um, so I'll come back when I'm done. I'm just going to do a line across there. I'm not going to do any kind of flick or anything like that. It's just going to be a line. So yeah, I'll do this and then I'll be back. So I've just started to do my highlighter and my camera cut out, I have no idea why. So I was going to use the rose quartz one, I'm going to use this one which is just a rose gold glow. Because um, the I've got the rose quartz one on but it doesn't seem to have very much pigment today. It might just be the lighting I'm in but this one's already showing up way better. There we are. So yeah, um, my eyes do look a bit strange. But as soon as I get some mascara on them, they should look ten times better. Um, I'm gonna do that now. Just gonna. So I've also put eyeliner. I don't know why I'm looking at you doing that. I'm also gonna put. I've put eyeliner on my bottom waterline. It is just um kind of like a really dark navy blue natural collection pencil eyeliner which I personally think is super cute with this look and the top liner because I thought the top liner on its own did look a bit strange uh, but yeah that's pretty much it that is way nicer I don't know what's going on with gold this one it doesn't seem to be coming out very shimmery at the moment. I might have to start using it as a blusher, maybe? I don't know. I'll have a think about it. Just gonna gel my eyebrows as well. And then we will get dressed. Which, of course, I'm not filming. That is weird. There we go. And then... Second to last, I'm going to put on the PS High Gloss, oh Maddie's messaging me, um, Primark Lip Gloss in the shade Candy. I'm just going to mix it up because it needs it. Then I'm going to use my setting spray which is the I Heart Revolution fixing spray. I'm just gonna I was to take a breath before I started doing that. It's okay. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go and get my outfit ready. I'm deciding between two. I'm gonna ask Maddie, now that she's awake, which one I should wear because she knows me the best. And then we're probably gonna FaceTime and speak about some of the ideas I've been having so yes, I'm gonna go and speak to Mads and see what she thinks of my video idea. Um, gonna pick an outfit, I'll come back and show you the before and after. I might even film a TikTok and do the I just flip the switch, flip flip thing. And then I'll go from this, my pajamas, into wearing clothes. But yes, we're gonna go and speak to Mads. I'll see you in the Maddie picked this. It is a denim dress with this top. She had to pick between 
this which is a play suit and this and obviously she chose this one um i do need to be really careful because i'm not wearing shorts yet or tights i need to put some tights on so i need to put my tights and my shorts on and then i need to tidy my room from all of this crap and then i'm gonna go and get some lunch because food i want to at some point today see what this top would look like under this but we'll try that a little bit later on because that's like kind of strapless like these straps are tiny so especially with this it will look strapless so yeah let's go and tidy my room and put some tights and shorts on where the heck are my shorts so this is what i mean like look there's just absolute rubbish everywhere my wardrobe is such a mess yes i'll be right back So I'm now on call with Maddie. <laughs> She's here. And I've tidied my room. She's talking and making me laugh and it's really weird. Um I've tidied my room and I'm just looking um through some pictures and taking some pictures as well. <laughs> Shut up! And I'm gonna go downstairs and make early lunch because it is 12 12 14. I think it's at 12 24, I don't even know why. Um so yeah, I'm going to go make some lunch. Don't know what I'm going to have. Um, I'm going to talk to this bitch while I'm at it. <laughs> no, don't cut yourself. Why? I will show you me making my lunch. So here is my best friend and my lunch. Um, I've just got two sausage rolls. They can't hear you, Maddie, so the more you scream, the less they're going to hear you. <laughs> I've got two sausage rolls, prawn cocktail crust, and a load of salad cream with some feta cheese, which looks really gross in there, but I promise you it does taste nice. I'm just going to talk to this moron while I'm eating. My lunch is healthy. Maddie is eating a cream cheese bagel with salmon. And she might have some packet of crisps, some packet of crisps, a packet of crisps and some apple. She's healthy. I've just got water to drink in this class cup as well. So yes, I'm going to go and eat this and then I think we're going to go for a walk later. So I'm going to take my camera and pretty much all I have to say because I'm really boring and I haven't really done very much so far. We're going to talk about a video idea now, aren't we? Going to discuss it. Right, okay. I will eat my dinner and I'll see you in a so, bit. So, I've eaten my lunch and me and Maddie had like an hour and a bit conversation. Um, I've just started... Sorry about Riley. I've just started to make some plans for tomorrow's video. Um, I think it's going to be tomorrow. It might be the day after. I don't really know. My hair looks really weird like that. Um, I need to go and brush my teeth. I put in some heaps as well. I need to go and brush my teeth and then reapply my lip gloss and then wash up my stuff because my food is just there. Um, so yeah, I basically need to get Maddie back. She's ringing her auntie and speak to her about the best friend controls my day video need to write like a script as such and then I need her to give me some instructions for first thing tomorrow morning because she seems to wake up at like 10 o'clock every day and I'm awake at like 7 so I need to get some instructions off of her of what to do before she wakes up um I'll probably just watch YouTube if she doesn't give me any but hey ho it's fine um I need to stop moving because I'm making myself feel sick so yeah I'm basically I'm going to be going out for a walk in a minute. I'm going to take my camera, so I need to charge my phone. I need to ring Maddie before I go out to 
properly plan this video um it might come a lot later editing wise i've got a lot to do on it so it might come a lot later than this video has come out so you might see it in like a day you might see it in a week don't really know um if it interests you in any way and if it's fun for me and my friend me and mads then i might do it with some other friends so i might do it with grace and vb and then they control my date as well um but it's got to be sensible because it's got to be things that you can do in lockdown i might like walk past maddie's house and give her a wave and we have a chat like at the certain distance apart because tomorrow's wednesday so the new lockdown rules kick in where you can just like go and see your friends but you have to stay the two meters away so i might do that with her um we just need to see how it goes we need to s i need to read the 50 page thing that boris has let out because i need to see what i can and i can't do and yeah that's pretty much all i've got to say i need to go brush my teeth because my tonsils i can already feel are starting to hurt because i've had sausage rolls so it like clags up i've got really big like cauliflower tonsils that's what they call them and um i get food stuck in them so if i don't brush my teeth then i'll end up getting tonsil stones really gross lots of information for you there you probably didn't want to know but you know what you're watching my videos <laughs> you must know me if you're watching if you don't then hello welcome to my channel please subscribe um <laughs> let's go and brush my teeth i hope you like the little tidying up like time lapse i did earlier i'm gonna end up doing those more often because i found that i tidied better knowing that like there was the pressure of the camera watching me i need to pick my teeth because i've got a tooth like but yeah anyway i'm gonna go and brush my teeth and then i'll i'll be back so i've now brushed my teeth i'm just gonna put some more lip gloss on um just waiting for Maddie to come off the phone so that we can kind of have a meeting I guess it is um about the video I know I've already told you all of this but I'm bored because I have to wait for her but yeah I'm gonna move some more bits around because there's still loads of rubbish on my floor and then I'm gonna see if she rings me Maddie have made some plans and we know kind of what's going on we haven't been on call for ages I was gonna go I was gonna go out for a walk but I couldn't be bothered um just gonna move you over here I've since then sat outside as you saw just in my garden but my neighbor started mowing his lawn as soon as I started filming which was so annoying so I've come back inside and I'm just sitting around at the moment. I've been often on FaceTime with friends um, and I don't really know what to do with myself. I'm bored now. We are at day... Well, this will be fun. Let's get my calendar and figure out what day we're on. And I'll get my little calendar. So I have been here since March the 18th. I've been here a while. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 110, 111, 112, 113, 114, 115, I'm 
I'm on day 55 of lockdown. I've spent 55 days inside my house, going on an hour long walk or bike ride pretty much every day. Um, I've done a lot of makeup and beauty as you've seen, but I am missing the social side of things. Now tomorrow we're gonna be allowed outside as such and to go and see our families um so long as we stay social distancing two meters apart so i'm thinking i'm gonna go and see maddie after my counseling session um which is all over text by the way just so that you don't think i'm breaking the rules to go to counseling no i'm not i've got a really tight neck um so we've got a plan we've got a map <laughs> we've got a compass we haven't i don't know what i'm talking about anymore um, but Maddie is going to send me some video instructions which I'm going to open on my but I broke my phone a couple of weeks ago so I'm going to open them on this phone which is the other phone that I have in case I break this phone um, I'm just gonna go onto my snapchat and then open them up and show you like this and we'll make it work um, but she's just gonna send me video clips of what to do and then going to see my reaction to it because she i know for a fact she's gonna be an ass and then make me go outside and see people with it on <laughs> and i know she's gonna do this i've also put this jump on because it's comfy um no she's gonna do that because she's a little turd so yeah sorry my grandma just texted me but um I need to remember to tell her about my counselling just because I want them to know I still need to see my counsellor and speak to her even though I've never met her before I'm rambling now I can feel myself doing it um I haven't really got anything else to say I'm gonna leave my phone to charge for a bit. I might do some more makeup because there isn't anything else to do. My eyebrow has messed itself up. So I've smudged the liner on this side. I might try and do like, I don't know, something. I need to do something. I need to stop blinking as well. Cause I'm like, oh, I need to do something. I really need to do something. <laughs> I can feel myself doing it. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna ring Maddie because I don't know. Might ring Millie as well. Hi, right, Millie. Okay. Um, I'll see you in a bit. Nobody's answering my phone calls. <laughs> um, I haven't got anything else to do. Like, I want to ask you for suggestions, but I also think that's stupid. And then I want to do an Instagram live, but nobody will join it. I might do a TikTok live. Can you even do them? They used to be called live leads when it was musically, but I don't know if I can even do them unless I'm verified. There's just absolutely nothing to do anymore. Like, I've coloured, and I've coloured, and I've coloured. And, like, I literally have... A folder of all of my colourings. Let's look through them. There are... Literally... Tons... Of colourings that I have done in probably the past three weeks. I feel like there's mine there, there's not. I've done so many. And like, I still have more that I want to do. But I'm not in the right mindset to do that right now. I can't write anything else. I've written loads. Um, I write pretty much every day. I can't be bothered to read anything because I can't sit still and concentrate for any period of time. I want to be doing something. But there just isn't anything to do anymore. I'm getting to the point, I'm gonna be real in these videos, like, because I'm gonna start vlogging in, um, probably now, to be fair, I'll start vlogging and just keep on showing you my day and how absolutely boring it is. But there always comes a point in the day and it's currently six minutes past five. 
in the evening and this is the point where I start to lose it and everything starts to go downhill certain people start to get on my nerves I can't talk to certain people because I'll get angry with them and I'll lose it with them it's a point where I just want to go to sleep or just eat um sounds really dramatic but when you've been stuck in your house for 55 days that's nearly two months that's a long time to have not seen anybody my cousin is not even a year old and i'm missing her crucial year of growing up this is the year where she'll grow the most and she'll she's probably crawling by now she was just sitting up the last time i saw her i expect she's crawling she might even be toddling and like we're missing that and it is just really gutting like i just want to see my family and my friends and i don't even have that many friends i can see i'd see maddie i'd see grace i'd see phoebe i'd see veg i'd see katie i want to see mia and oakley like i just want to go and see these people and tell them that i love them and i don't want to take them for granted anymore and it's just really difficult when you know that you can't do that i was supposed to go up to london about a month ago and see my great grandparents who are 90 and 94 nearly and i can't go and see them i can't see my grandma and granddad who live up in the street i can't see my nan and pops who live in evercreech which isn't even that far away like it's just really difficult and there's always a point in my day where i think about that and i've never quite verbalized it and already write it down but this this is the kind of stage that i get to where i just get really emotional so yeah i'm sorry you have to see me like this it's a really shit video quality quantity whatever but this is what it gets to and i swear i'll be editing at like midnight probably and i'll see this and be like oh you're just being stupid like you'll see them soon like we're gonna be able to go and sit in their back gardens and have a chat with them but it's not the same like can't go and give them a hug i can't kiss them on the top of the head and tell them how much they mean to me and how much i want to see them and appreciate them but it's better than nothing I can have a chat tell them that i've done absolutely nothing and I'm pretty sure my grandma and my nan watch these videos anyway, so they'll see this little meltdown and tell me I'm being stupid and that it's all going to be over soon. But it's just difficult. And it's hard not seeing people that you really love. And I did start lockdown early as well for the 18th of March. That was basically my last day outside, but... I went in, I did an exam and I socially distanced the entire time because I had a cough and I didn't want to risk anything so I socially distanced and then sat at the bus stop for like two hours waiting for a bus home because my college is an hour and, hour and a bit bus journey away so um, I travelled up and I just sat outside because I couldn't go and sit in my grandma's house because I had a cough and I didn't want to risk anything so I've been isolating for a bit longer than most people but it's just taking its toll slowly but surely um, and it does get harder every day because that's another day without your family and friends and people that you love so yeah that's my little rant gonna go um do something i don't know what i'll find something sorry you have to see me like this i'll see you all in a bit so i am time lapsing this when i'm not on um video i am time lapsing me coloring this in i just wanted to let anybody that wanted to colour any of the things that I'm colouring now or that you saw when I was showing off the folder of colours I've, that colourings I've done pretty much everything you've seen came off of the Crayola website um, it's all free to print you've literally just got to click a button that says print next to the picture um, 
I like colouring with Crayola. I've got Crayola pens as well. Um, these ones are Go Create, which is just like a Tesco's own brand, I guess. But Crayola, yeah, it's childish, but you know what? I am just a big kid. So if you do want to colour in anything that I am colouring in, Crayola are brilliant. And there's tons on there as well, because I've just printed out all of these. Um, they do it off of popular TV shows that the kids watch and stuff like that. So I know of a couple because of placement. Some of the kids have spoken about Rainbow Bright before, so I'm colouring in some of the Rainbow Bright pictures. Um, it's just this weird, funky-looking token, uh, like a Una token. Another one from Rainbow Bright. And then an adult colouring one. They do have adult colouring on Crayola as well. Um, which is just a bit harder. I'm colouring in this one. Um, it's got a starfish, a crab, a stingray or something like that. And an octopus. Um, and yeah. So just, if you want to colour, Crayola's your man. So I have finished the picture. I didn't time lapse the ending because I thought I'd leave it. I don't know why. Um, this is what it looks like. It is the ocean, the floor and the sea. Um, yeah, it's a kid's picture, but you know what? Who cares? What else have I got to do? Um, I have got it all over the back of my book though. I'm now gonna try and write something. Um, don't know if I'm gonna time lapse writing because that is boring. Um, I might call my friends and write something or just car carry on colouring but um, I don't know if that was boring or not to be honest it's only like 30 seconds of your life taken up by me colouring and it's time lapsed and it's done quickly so I don't really see what the problem is there's lip gloss on this that's why I'm doing that um, yeah whatever who cares I'm gonna go and call my friends because they were on call a minute ago. And then I will probably, I think we're going for a walk. Are we going for a walk up to Ham Hill in a bit? Sorry, can you what? Are we going for a walk up to Ham Hill in a bit? Yeah, just, we're waiting for Dad to get oh, out of the right. shower. Oh, right, okay. I might not call my friends then because if Dad's getting out of the shower soon, then we're gonna be leaving pretty soon. And I'll be taking some pictures and I'll probably film up there as well. I'll take my camera little bird um this is the kind of picture i take as well Riley? i might put in a compilation of my pictures i don't know so i've got 15 minutes so yeah i'm gonna go and get ready to go out see you in a sec <laughs> super long. 